Hi and welcome to this video lesson on Lives of Jane by Vince Gill. In this video I'm going to show you how to play the guitar solo as played on the original record Pocket Full of Gold. I hope you'll enjoy it. The solo starts on the D string, 2nd and 4th fret, then G string, 2nd fret, 4th fret and bend it up a whole tone, then B string on the 2nd, G string on the 4th, bend it up, release it, pull it off to the 2nd, then D string on the 4th, G string on the 2nd, pull it off to the open, then D string on the 4th, open G. D string on the 4th, pull it off to the 2nd and to the open string. Then A string on the 3rd, hammer it on to the 4th, open D, A string, 3rd, pull it off to the 2nd and to the open string. Then bottom E, 3rd, hammer it on to the 5th, open A, slide up to the 5th fret of the bottom E, then open A twice, again slide up to the 5th of the bottom E, and open A twice. Then slide up to the 4th fret of the A string, open D, a quick hammer on between the 1st and the 2nd fret of the D, like this, then open G, and finish the lick with a quick pull off between the 1st and the open string on the D. So this is the first lick of the solo. The second lick starts on the A string, 3rd fret, hammer on to the 4th, then G string on the 2nd, D string on the 4th and 2nd fret, then G string on the 4th, bend it up a whole tone, B string on the 2nd, then G string on the 7th fret, bend it up a whole tone, B string on the 5th, again G string on the 7th, bend it up a whole tone, release it, and pull it off to the 5th, then D string on the 7th, G string on the 7th, again G string on the 7th, bend it up a whole tone, top E string on the 5th, B string on the 5th, G string on the 7th, B string on the 8th fret, bend it up a whole tone, then keep it bent and with the index reach the top E string on the 5th fret, then re-pick the B string, which is still bent on the 8th fret, release it, and then 5th, G string on the 8th, put it off to the 7th, then to the 5th, then D string on the 7th, G string on the 5th, and bend it up like a semitone. It's a blues curl, so it might be even less than a semitone. Then D string on the 7th, put it off to the 5th. So this is the second lick. Lick number 3 starts on the A string, 4th fret, slide it up to the 7th, then G string on the 5th, D string, 7th and 5th fret, then G string on the 7th, bend it up a whole tone. While you keep the string bent, play the 8th fret on the B string, again the G string which is still bent, top E string on the 6th, G string which is still bent on the 7th, then release it, pull it off to the 5th, D string on the 7th, the G string on the 5th, slide it down to the 3rd fret. And this is lick number 3. Lick number 4 starts with a double stop on the G and B strings, we slide up to the 7th fret, 
you can start from the fifth and slide up to the seventh fret on both strings. Then re-pick them and pull them off to the fifth fret. Then D string on the seventh. Another double stop, fourth on the G and third on the B. And slide that down two frets so you end up on the second and first. Then open G. D string on the second. Slide up to the fourth. Then open G. D string on the third. Pull it off to the second and then to the open string. A string, third, hammer it on to the fourth and finish with the G string on the second and then D string on the second. And this is lick number four. Lick five starts on the G string, fourth fret, bend it up a whole tone. Then without re-picking it, slide up to the seventh and bend up a whole tone, like this. Then fifth on the B string. Slide up on the tenth of the G and bend it up a whole tone. Then eight on the B. Slide up to the twelfth on the G string and bend it up a whole tone. Then tenth on the B. Slide up to the fourth fin of the G and bend it up a whole tone. Then twelve on the B. Slide up to the 16th of the G string and bend it up a whole tone again. And then 14 on the B string. Again G string, bend it up the 16th fret, release it, put it off to the 14th, then D string on the 16th. Then we've got a double stop on the G and B strings, 14th fret. Slide that down two frets, then D string on 14, then G and B on the 14th. Again, G and B on the 14th fret, put it off to the 12th on both strings, then D string on 14. Again, same double stop as before, 14 on the G and B, put it off to the 12th. And this is lick number 5. Lick number six starts with a double stop on the G and B strings, ninth on the G and eighth on the B string. Slide that up three frets, so you end up on 12th and 11th, and re-pick it four times. One, two, three, four, like this. One, two, three, four. Then 10th on both strings, then eighth on the G string, quick hammer on to the ninth, like this. Then D string, 10, 8, 10. And this is lick number six. Lick number seven starts on the A string, we slide up to the ninth fret, then a double stop on the G and B string, seventh fret then D string 9th and 7th fret, then another double stop on G and B strings, 9th on the G and 8th on the B, and slide that up 1 fret and then another fret so you end up on 11th and 10th, then a double stop on the top 2 strings on the 10th fret, then another double stop 15 and 14, and slide that down 3 frets, but try to lose the index. We don't really want to slide both notes down, only the B string, like this. It's a bit tricky when you speed it up, but try to do that. Then we finish on the th another double stop, 13 on the B and 12 on the top E. So this is lick number 7. The last lick of the solo starts with a double stop on the top two strings, 15th fret. 
bend the B string a whole ton up, keep it bent and re-pick it with a light palm mute five times, like this. Then 15 on the top E string, 15 on the B, slide it down to the 12th fret and bend it up without re-picking it. So. Then keep the string bent and play the 12th fret on the top E string, B string which is still bent, top E string on the 10th, B string which is still bent, release it and put it off to the 10th fret, then G string on the 11th. B string on the 10th, slide it down to the 8th fret, then G string on the 9th. B string on the 10th and bend it up a whole tone. Then re-pick it, release it, pull it off to the 8th, then G string on the 9th. B string on the 8th, slide it down to the 7th, G string on the 8th. B string on the 5th, G string on the 7th. Bend it up a whole tone, release it down, then 7th on the D string and 8th on the B string, which we bend a whole tone up. So this is the last lick of the solo. So this is the solo how I hear it. As usual, if you go to my website, you'll find the baking track for practicing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.